Good morning and welcome to Koh Yao Noi, which is truly one of the best islands I've ever visited in Thailand or basically in the world. I just love the vibes here. It's a pretty small island, not small enough that you could walk around. You need kind of rent a scooter to see everything, but it's just the most beautiful island. It's like so much different terrain. You've got jungles, you've got rice paddies, you've got like banana plantations, you've got really nice, beautiful coastal roads with palm trees. Oh, it's just so nice. This is the perfect place to come if you just want a chill island vibe where you do nothing but just like scooter around, eat food, lie on the beach, have naps. So we have spent one week here and it's just been, I reckon the best week of the trip so far. Filmed a bunch of the stuff that we've done in case you wanna come here. Here are the best things that we've done and um, yeah, highly, highly recommend this island. just waiting for our breakfast to be delivered i just got my coffee with coconut milk and like little coconut flecks on top delicious we have found this cafe it's called chaba it is beautiful it's just up the road from where we're staying our airbnb the menu is incredible they've got a mix of thai and western food but they've got so many vegan and vegetarian options which i love they've even got beyond meat patties and stuff we've been here on the island for two days but we have been staying in a tree house with no electricity and nowhere to get around so now We've got freedom. I had a scooter for today so we can just sort of like suss out the island, figure out what we want to do. Look at that sandwich. I thought it was just going to be like a bowl of muesli, but I got a whole bowl of fruit, a whole bowl of like muesli and... Oh, it's warm. Oh. My God. Gem trying to ride the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> we have had a very successful morning after breakfast we scooted into town we found the market bought a heap of fresh veggies and some chicken and some noodles so that we can cook up some dinners for the rest of this week come down to the beach it's stunning look at that like i mean if you ignore the gross sticks and seaweed and stuff like whoa it's hopefully now finally the end of rainy season because I think we've only had one sunny day the whole time we've been here and this is day number two so I'm about to jump in the ocean, make the most of it, hang out at the beach, enjoy the sunshine. Oh, I just, I'm just so happy here. I love this island. It's amazing. So we are thinking that we could rent a kayak and go out to that island. Like I reckon we could do it, but could we get back? I don't know. It looks pretty far to me. Beach time is over. We are now going on an adventure on the scooter. So I just looked at the map and, and we are just gonna try and like traipse around the island. I reckon there's a, a road that goes like all the way around the outside perimeter along the coast. So we're gonna do that and just see what we find. I don't know if we're allowed to be here, but it's pretty sick. <laughs> okay, if you ever come to this island, you have to rent a scooter because that was truly the best day we've had on this whole trip. We just scooted around the whole island all the way up to the top, all the way down to the bottom, went past rice fields, went through all these little villages, saw heaps of water buffalo, heaps of like banana and maybe pineapple plantations, so many cool trees through the jungle, up hills, down hills, it was awesome. And it was such a good way to see the island because otherwise you kind of just got to walk around and um, it's too big to just walk around everywhere. It is super quiet at the moment because of COVID. We went out for dinner last night, we got Italian, but we were the only people in the restaurant, the only people who'd been there all day. We went for breakfast this morning, nobody else there except for us. Basically the only people that we see are locals. I think we've seen like two or three other tourists. It's so quiet. Um, so hopefully it picks up soon, especially now that it's 
sunny and it's not the rainy season anymore. I mean, we've only been here 24 hours, but it's my favorite place so far. I really, really love it. So it's almost sunset. We're just having a couple drinks out on the balcony and then we're gonna be going to a bar which faces west so we actually get a good view of the sunset. And then we're gonna come home and cook dinner and make a plan for tomorrow. obsessed with and it's called jackpot they have it at a lot of bars that we've been to my turn first i roll the dice and i got five so either i can turn over the five or i can turn over the four and the one or i can turn over the two and the three and then i just like keep going so look i got a seven so i'll put over the seven and the aim of the game is to just like keep putting over as many numbers as possible as they come through until I can't do any more. So say like all of these are put up and I've only got the four left and I roll. Oh, I can't do it. So my number is four. And then it's Ant's turn. He puts all the numbers back and he does the same thing. And his goal is to beat four. He's got to end up with a number smaller than four. And um, it's our new favorite game. Okay, hello. It has been a good 24 hours since I last filmed anything. The lighting in here is not ideal. You're currently resting on a kettle in the kitchen of our Airbnb. Now it is like seven o'clock. Our plan was to just cook dinner at home, but it's Saturday night and the English Premier League is on and Anne's favorite team is playing. There is a sports bar down the road that is hopefully gonna be showing it. There's also a Thai restaurant down there, which is supposed to be one of the best on the island. So we were like, okay, two birds, one stone. Let's go down there, have dinner at that place. When we walk past the sports bar, we can check if it's on. But yeah, I'm excited, I'm hungry. On you, Reds. Ginormous change of plans. We walked out for dinner. Turns out that the restaurant that we wanted to go to was like fully closed, as in has not been open since COVID. <laughs> So we just went straight to the bar. We watched the first soccer match. That was at 7.30. And then Anne got super fired up because the team that he wanted to lose lost. So we ended up just like staying here, having dinner. Ant got the biggest burger I've ever seen. I had a falafel wrap and some fries. I, he's so excited. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. Let's go, you boys. If you're ever on Koyanoi and you want to watch sport or you're with someone who wants to watch sport, it's the place to be. Last night did not go the way that we had planned. So we just ended up staying at the bar from like 7 p.m. till 1 a.m. so that we could watch two soccer games. You know, if Taylor Swift was dropping a new song and the only way I could listen to it was like at this bar, I would want to stay. So I guess it's like, here's Taylor Swift. But okay, here's the thing that I don't like about Thailand is I never know what to drink because I can have maybe one beer or two beers max and I'm like, ugh, I don't really want that anymore. But then wine is so expensive. So if I drink like spirits, which I did last night, I had a Captain Morgan, um, it's like 200 baht, whereas a beer is like 90 baht. So it's kind of like, I have to drink beer or I have to spend a lot of money. But anyway, we're gonna go out, get some coffee, get some food, and then I'm gonna come back here and work all day and it's gonna get a scooter and drive around the island. Okay, we are now just banging down the main street near the beach going to see if we can find any places to get coffee. So on our very first day here, we walked past this chicken place and Ant loves it so much. He got one on the first day and was like, that is amazing. And he's come back every day since. Better than KFC, right? It's awesome. It's so good. So we've been putting it in sandwiches. We're gonna put it on our pasta tonight for dinner. Just eat it straight out of the bag. It's so good. Considering it's been a pretty nice day and there is barely a cloud in the sky, we've decided to come down to watch the sunset. We're down at the most sort of southerly point of the island on the west side. I just looked at a map and was like, oh, it looks like there's somewhere there we could just go and watch the sunset. And it's like a little pier. It's kind of ugly on this side, but on this side, it's beautiful. 
just gonna sit here for like half an hour or so, watch the sun go down. Better than going to spend money and sitting in a bar when you can get the same view for free sitting here.